to live like the old days. Can it still be done? I'm here to tell you, yes, it certainly can be done. It just all depends on what you want to do and what you want to work to pay for. The whole idea of living like the old days where mom stayed home, and we're going to say mom stayed home, but it can be dad. And this day and age, it's whoever makes the most income and has the better health insurance should be the one working, and the other one parent should stay home. And if you're not a two-parent family, which many homes aren't, you just have to decide, okay, instead of working two jobs, if I do things a different way, I can only work one day, one job rather, and stay home with my children. So the whole concept of the whole goal is to stay home with your children and not have to work, not have to be a two income family where mom and dad both go to work and the kids go off to daycare if they're not in school and the only time the family's together is on the weekends. Someone else is basically getting paid to raise your children. Hopefully with some of the morals and the ways that you want them raised and feeding them what you want to be what you want them to be eating. And then you spend your weekends doing laundry, cleaning the house, running errands, doing the shopping, all this kind of stuff. So you're still not spending time with your children, not quality time anyway. So there is a way you can do that and be a stay-at-home mom or dad by following some of the tips that I'm going to tell you. Now, I don't recommend that you go out today and just quit your job because all these things sound like something you could do. I recommend you get a notebook right now and go write down a whole list of all your monthly bills, your mortgage, your car insurance, your health insurance, your life insurance, your cell phone bill, your cable vision, your gas, your electric, your whatever, your car payment. If you have a Disney Club subscription, if you have a Victoria's Secret credit card, a gym membership, Facebook where you pay, pay for Farmville or Netflix or any of those things, anything that is your monthly bill, put it in that list. Now make another list on a separate page with all your, let's call them expenses. How much do you spend at Starbucks or Dunkin Donuts? How much do you spend at McDonald's? Do you go out to eat a lot? Do you go to the movies every week? Do you buy red, red box every week? Do you, do you, what do you do with your money? What do you spend it on? Um, whatever it is write it down and try to figure it out make a list of your expenses and right away look at them and put a star next to anything you think you can do without um, can you do without that gym membership you certainly can maybe you enjoy going it because that's your time away from the kids take a walk take a and, and, and you shouldn't need time away from the kids if you're working full-time and not having quality time with the kids but everybody needs a little time to themselves so if you get it by going to the gym, start taking a swim or taking a hike or taking a walk around the block or mow your own lawn instead of paying someone else to do it or using your riding lawnmower. Get a push mower, you'll be su 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 can't say it. You'll be surprised on the exercise you get doing that, raking your own yard, doing that kind of things. Um, try for a month. See what you can remove from these things what you can do without and like I said you'll be surprised at at those things and by mom stays home I also mean mom doesn't go out to pay to get her nails done mom does her own nails at home mom doesn't pay to have somebody pay 150 bucks to have her hair done mom does her own hair or if she needs it cut Hopefully barters with somebody. If you know somebody, and we all know somebody who's a hairdresser, who's our friend or a neighbor or a neighbor's daughter or somebody, babysit their children for a couple hours and have them do your hair in return. Or clean their house or do something when your kids are at school and you have an hour or two extra and barter it if you can. If you can't barter it and you have to pay for it, you have to pay for it, but it shouldn't be 
expensive all the time. I know women who go every week to get something done with their hair. They get it colored, then they get it highlighted, then they get it cut, then they get it layered, then they decide they want a whole different hairstyle, and then they want somebody to just do it for them. And We all love it. I love to have my hair done. I love to have it washed. I actually need to have my hair done now. I have to call my friend. But we all love to... I love it when my kids just brush my hair. Let's just be honest. But stop paying a lot of money for it. I mean, there is ways to do it. Um, and, and also, besides doing that, if you're a stay-at-home mom, you're a stay-at-home mom. That means no going to Dunkin' Donuts or Starbucks or whatever to hang out. No sitting around on your cell phone. No playing Farmville or Candy Crush or any of those games that everyone plays. No going off to visit your friends who are stay-at-home moms or work different shifts or whatever in their home no shopping back in the day there was no trips to walmart there was no kohl's there was no let's go to target and see what they have on sale and buy a few things mom didn't do that my mom did not do that my mom went to grant's which was the store back in the day she went to grant's and she went there when she needed crochet cotton or she needed to do some christmas shopping or something and she was frugal about what she bought even, but she didn't go there on a weekly basis, which I know some people go to Walmart constantly. If they're not at Walmart, they're at Target or they're at Kohl's or they're at the mall. You cannot go to those places. Forget it. As a matter of fact, um, you need to cut out all your spending like that at all. Instead of doing those kind of things and going places like that, mom should be gardening. Mom gardens stay home you stay busy you keep your house clean when the kids are in school you should have a routine of what you're cleaning i have a list i live by my list um but you should have a routine i go i i like to garden early in the morning before the sun gets hot out there and water my garden so the kids leave for school i have my cup of tea i go outside i garden i pull weeds i do whatever i'm going to do for an hour or half an hour whatever I need to spend time on it and then I water it all and then I'm done with my garden for the day until later in the evening depending on what I need to do obviously when I'm planting my garden it takes a lot more time is devoted to that rather than doing other things but you garden and then with that garden you harvest the food you freeze it you can it and you bake um, I grow blueberries all kinds of stuff and you just need to use the food utilize it and I grow an abundance of tomatoes. I make my own salsa, spaghetti sauce, pizza sauce. Um, I freeze the tomatoes by themselves so that I can use them for goulash, um, all kinds of different things that I would normally buy canned tomatoes for if I wanted to make, make something. Um, I make, with my blueberries, I make blueberry pie, blueberry cupcake, or blueberry muffins, um, blueberry cake. All kinds of different things, blueberry turnovers, and whatever I make, I make double or triple of, and then I put them in the freezer, and I have them. I ha Easy snacks. If for some reason I'm really, like in the days I'm busy in the garden, or I'm busy doing something else, or say I don't feel well, I have all that already made up, and it makes my life so much easier. Um, another thing mom should be doing when she's home is couponing. All the things you can't get from your garden, your meats, your toilet paper, your cleaning supplies, things like that, you can use coupons for. And not only will you get them at a big discount, but there's a lot of money makers there. If you go to certain stores when you do your shopping, like Walmart, you'll make money. You get overage. So say you have a coupon for a dollar off of some kind of lotion. And they're on that you, lotions on sale for 79 cents you're gonna make 21 cents off every lotion and I know that's not a lot but you have 10 coupons you get 10 free lotions you just made two dollars and ten cents that's gonna buy you a loaf of bread see how that's done and you can make your own homemade bread cook from scratch make homemade bread make pizza dough make pie crust you make your homemade soups all your stuff if your home should be homemade utilizing the things that you're growing in your garden why not why not eat healthy your life is going to be so much easier and your husband is going to be and even you are going to be loving it because things are tasting so much better um and like i said no dunkin donuts at all 
And that's not just for you. That's for your husband as well, if he's going to work. Uh, no Dunkin' Donuts, no Starbucks, no McDonald's, no nowhere like that on the way to work. No stopping at a coffee shop and having a breakfast sandwich. Get it at home. Take it with you. Get your coffee at home. Take it with you. Send the kids to lunches to school. Send the husband's lunch to work. Lunches nowadays cost, and I have six children, all adults now except for one, but lunches nowadays are $3 a lunch per kid, and that's the basic. They're not getting a cookie. They're not getting anything extra where my kids go. It's the basic, and it's not a big lunch. $3 a person a day, so that's $15 a week, $60 a month. For each child. Now you say you have two or three kids in school. That's $120 to $180 a month depending on how many kids you have in school. Buy the stuff. Look at, I have other videos that will show you how to prep your kids' lunches. Save yourself some money. Totally do it and do it for your husband too. He would love to have a delicious homemade soup in a thermos rather than going and paying $8 for some soup at what's it called uh, I don't know that soup place soup and sandwich place I can't think it's delicious soup I'm not saying they don't have good soup <coughs> excuse me but take your own take your own lunch save your money so many ways you're spending money that if you just did some do some of these things you will be able to live on one income all these things that you're spending money on is coming out of one of the incomes the other income is paying the bills that have to be paid. So you're not paying daycare. Mom's home. Mom is home. No daycare. The kids go to school from the house, come home to the house. There's nobody watching them in between. You're raising them. You're responsible for their behavior, what they're putting in their mouths, how much sleep they're getting, what they're wearing when they go out the door. You're responsible. You're in charge. It's so much better. So much less stress than having your kids call you. Um... Mom, I'm at, you know, I'm at school, I forgot this, I forgot that. You're now at work, there's nothing you can do. Now, if you're home, you're making sure Johnny's got a saxophone, Susie's, Susie's got a recorder, they got whatever they need to get through the school day. And stop buying the expensive clothes. They don't need a t-shirt that says Hollister for 25 bucks when you can go buy them a shirt anywhere for 4 bucks for a t-shirt. They don't need... $25, $35 expensive jeans, $80 sneakers. You can buy the cheaper ones. I have seen people with one-year-old kids with North Face jackets and snowsuits on. Get out! Are you kidding me? Why would you go spend $300 for a snowsuit for an infant one in a month? That infant's going to, or not a month, maybe two, three months that baby's going to outgrow that north face that you just paid hundreds of dollars for and you're going to have to go buy another one are you serious my daughter i love her to death she wanted a vera bradley diaper bag for when her baby was born 200 dollars diaper bag are you kidding me my other daughter who has children will go through two diaper bags of baby because they get things Le bottles leak in them, lotions leak, leak in them. You, you know, it's like you're dragging them around, putting them in the car floor, the people's house floors, your house floor. Be sensible. Be sensible with what you buy. You don't need the Gucci purse. You don't need the Vera Bradley stuff. Yes, it's beautiful. Please don't send me hate letters. I love Vera Bradley. I love Gucci, Coach, all that. Louis Vuitton, beautiful. But I'm not going to go spend, I'm not going to work another job just so I can buy these things. If I can stay home with my kids and cook my own meals and clean my own house rather than paying someone else to do it, yeah, I'll skip the coach and the designer handbags and shoes and stuff like that and the North Face for my baby. Definitely. Um, stop eating out. You know how much money is spent eating out? My husband and I and my... 13 year old son go eat out between 60 and 70 bucks and that's just for like a small dinner nothing special I mean my son gets like chicken and fries it is 
crazy and especially if you're having drinks out they add up quick stop eating out stop going to Dunkin's mom cooks mom cooks from scratch mom makes delicious food from scratch because she's home all day no need to eat out have homemade soup pastas sauces whatever you want make it eat it stay home Cancel your subscriptions. If you subscribe to the gym, if you subscribe to Victoria's Secret, um, Disney Channel, Dis not Disney Channel, Disney, what do you call it, Movie Club, or any of those places, unsubscribe to them. You don't need to subscribe to them. You want to work another job to pay for the gym and cell phone and designer clothes? Seriously? Wouldn't you rather stay home with your kids? <coughs> Mom stays home. Mom stays home. That means mom doesn't need a car. That means you're saving on gas. You save it on car payments. You save it on car insurance. You save it on car maintenance. And you're saving on car repairs. That's a big savings. Mom stays home. Mom doesn't need a car. Mom's gonna be gardening and cooking and cleaning and taking care of the kids. Mom stays home. Or dad stays home. So one car family, people. Look at the money you're gonna save on your insurance and all your other stuff. Get rid of your cell phone. Mom stays home. Mom doesn't need a cell phone. Kids no longer need cell phones. Let the kids play outside. Let the kids be kids. Mom knows where the kids are because the kids are home with mom. The kids don't need a cell phone. Mom don't need a cell phone to call each other back and forth. Mom doesn't need to be on a cell phone distracted constantly by every message that comes through. So take, try some of these things. Let me know how they work for you. I'm telling you, you can work on one income. Give it a try. I hope it works for you. Leave me some comments and subscribe to my channel if you like it. Thanks. Have a great day. Be kind.